Hi there. How to make a pinhole camera out of one of these? Yep, a tetra pack. Uh, you can get the square ones or you can get the rectangular ones uh, like this. This one had custard in from yesterday's apple strudel and it's still got bits of custard in. Ugh. Anyway, so I'm going to use one of these today. Uh, what you need to do first is look at my template or whatever and you actually draw a line on the carton. You then cut along that carton like what this is. So there's the container, cut along the lines and ta-da! Yep, you have the sort of bottom of the box and these little flaps here. And you then gaffer tape these flaps together and make a lid. Ooh, like that. It's all very clever. And it's sort of like they're light type, which is cool. Use the silvery stuff. It's sort of silver, this. Uh, not the clear containers. There's some where light comes through. So use the ones who've got a thin piece of metal inside. That makes it light type. So you've got your box. It's rather cool. You can make them tall or you can make them short. You have to change the measurements a bit. There's a template which you can see the instructions on to make one like this. The taller they are, the narrower the angle of view. So if you're photographing the sun rising, yeah, as if you'll get up to see the sunrise, or the sun setting, then you need to sort of think where would the sun set, find something to actually line it up with, and then do the picture accordingly. Yes, yeah, point it the right direction. If you could make a smaller one, a shorter one, the image is going to be more wide angle, and it's going to take a longer exposure to get more of the sun crossing the sky. Making the pinhole, get an aluminium can, chop out a piece of aluminum like that, and then using a pin with a bobble on, there it is, just push a pinhole into the metal like that. Take it out and that'll do. That's fine. And you fix that over the hole that you've made in there. Fix it on top, gaffer tape it on the middle, and then you've got your camera. Make a little shutter on top. So underneath the shutter is the pinhole. Photographic paper, load photographic paper, light sensitive. You don't have to do it in complete darkness or under a red light even. What you can do is get your photo paper and wait till it's evening, switch most of the lights off, have a little lamp on or something like that, and then start putting your paper in. And it could be square and you could put the paper right in the back or you could get a bit of light sensitive paper and curl it round. Something I quite like doing is actually sort of making full use of the angle of view inside. So there, it's more of a wide angle. It will sort of curl round, rather like using the beer can candles. Or, and where it gets good fun, you could trim out a square like that and push it inside like this. So you end up with a square of paper inside. And that will mean the sun will move along, then suddenly bend and like that. So it's good fun to play with. I do usually take them down uh, like that. Um, although it's a bit quite clever, the sun doesn't really open up and light doesn't get in very easily. So then position it outside, leave it for a few hours, take it in, take the photographic paper out and then scan the image. No developer, no fixer and see what you get. And also I would suggest putting things inside the camera, which is good fun. Okay, so that's the Tetra Pack, the Tetra Cam, uh, which is going to revolutionise photography. From today, painting is dead. Thank you.